Hello, I'm Graham Pike. I'm Professor of Forensic Cognition here at The Open University and I work in the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences where I'm a psychologist. I'm also Director of Research for the Centre for Policing Research and Learning where I work with a number of colleagues here at The Open University and from police forces across England, Wales and Northern Ireland. Um, and in fact, the centre has uh, 20 formal uh, partnerships with forces and agencies uh, across those regions. Uh, the research that's done here at the centre um, uh, is unique in, in many senses. Uh, for one thing, absolutely everything we do involves working highly collaboratively with our policing practitioner partners. And that's from generating research questions through to collecting and analysing data and interpreting, evaluating and implementing that work. Everything is done hand in hand with our policing practitioners. One of the other uh, standout things uh, about the centre is the size and scope. So rather than just focusing uh, within a single academic discipline such as criminology or business studies or whatever it might be, uh, the centre spans the whole gamut of academic disciplines. We have colleagues from um, arts and social sciences, from our business and law school, from our science, technology, mathematics faculty, um, from our learning and technology units and also from our faculty of um, uh, that does health and welfare uh, studies and uh, we conduct research projects across um, all of those different academic disciplines all hand in hand with policing practitioners. Uh, we're actually in the process of um, reorganising how we theme that work but by and large um, our work tends to be around uh, public leadership and management, um, work around uh, big data analytics and technology, work around um, uh, health and welfare uh, including vulnerability in policing and also work around investigating, uh, detecting, preventing um, crime which is where my um, own research uh, comes in. I kind of span criminology and uh, psychology and I'm very interested in that interface between uh, the public and the police, how the police engage with uh, people, whether that be through witnesses and developing new technology to enhance uh, the engagement with witnesses or more recently I've, I've been working with policing practitioners to look at a larger scale interaction between police services and uh, a number of publics, whether that be through social media or through getting dedicated feedback through uh, user insight initiatives. The centre has already had uh, a number of remarkable research successes. Um, we, we got a large amount of funding, nearly one and a half million through the Police uh, Knowledge Fund. Um, that kick-started a, a large number of projects, including our multi-award winning research programme on child witness interview simulation. This is developing a gamification approach to help uh, train and uh, develop police skills around uh, interviewing child witnesses and working with vulnerable witnesses. Uh, more recently, uh, we got a, a, a lot of funding together with the London Mayor's Office for Policing and Crime um, to look at enhancing training, learning and development across the 43 uh, police services and forces uh, in the UK. So that, that work is scoping out the current state of play in terms of learning, development and training, looking for examples of better practice, looking for where change might be needed and then uh, working out and conducting research on implementing that uh, change and evaluating the success of that. Um, in addition, we recently received a large amount of funding, over a million from the Engineering Physical Sciences Research Council, uh, for a large interdisciplinary collaborative project on citizen forensics. So this is people working across the business school, um, psychology and particularly software engineering groups, working with the police to look at how the police engage with publics through social media and other online forums. And at the moment that can be quite combative and uh, there are a number of very important examples where, where members of the public uh, kind of see themselves as amateur Sherlock Holmes have actually kind of tried to compete against the police and, and the, the consequences of that have been quite bad. So we're trying to develop online systems uh, that take account of psychology and um, how communities are constructed that will enable the police to work more closely um, with the public. Um, in addition to, to those projects, we're, we're conducting a very large number um, of other research projects uh, on health and welfare, in policing, uh, so that's the police workforce themselves, and demand management, that, um, a project that's already had considerable success, success both in helping the police manage their demand more effectively so they can work more effectively, but also in bringing down costs. Um, we've also done a lot of work um, through our Knowledge Media Institute on using big data analytics to look at online grooming and radicalisations and ways of spotting and dealing with those early on. 
One of the things I love about working at the Open University, but particularly at the Centre of Policing Research and Learning, is the research culture. Uh, this is a very friendly and supportive um, place to work. And people joining the Open University and, and joining the Centre will uh, find themselves part of a very supportive network that meets very regularly, uh, to, to hear about the research going on, to discuss ongoing projects. Um, and make links with practitioners and more senior staff. It, it, I find it to be a very supportive um, environment um, and also a very engaging one. And one of the other things I love about the Open University is its, its social mission about widening participation. Now, obviously, it's very famous uh, for its social justice mis mission in bringing higher education to people that wouldn't be able to access it anyway. But in terms of uh, the, the, the research program, that widening participation uh, means that we try to share, share our research findings um, not just within uh, academia but more broadly. Uh, so we uh, of course famous for our TV programs and many of our academics manage to share their research through the creation of TV series and one-off documentaries. Um, we also have um, an incredibly active um, world-leading uh, open learn uh, website uh, that provides free access uh, to learning and um, that's not just kind of broad text but there's video and interactives. And sharing your research with people and practitioners um, through those means um, is incredibly exciting and something anybody joining uh, the Open University, I think you'd find very interesting. This, the Centre for Policing Research and Learning uh, does work across research, knowledge exchange and teaching and learning. In terms of teaching and learning, uh, we have a big initiative around policing degrees. But we've also done a number of other initiatives around learning with the police. And a number of these are publicly available through the Open University's uh, Open Learn website and also through our Future Learn MOOC site. A MOOC is a massive open online course. All of these are, are free for anyone to take. Uh, they're a very good way with interacting with a large number of people at a distance. So they're very useful for the police because it means that we can put something online that's doing training or professional development and learning and development uh, that's uh, useful for, their, for officers and police staff. But that resource can be used by an individual or a group at any time and at any place and the person can work at their own pace. So it's uh, really at the kind of cutting edge of um, digital learning. And uh, the Open University uh, and the Centre for Policing Research and Learning has, has received funding from the police and other agencies to develop a number of these online courses. Um, we've also put on online courses that have been used by the police, such as the National Crime Agency, and they're available for the public in areas such as uh, cybercrime and technology and forensic psychology and investigating um, crime. Uh, those last two courses, which are on the FutureLearn platform, have been taken by hundreds of thousands of people over the last few years.